I use Canva every day and even I only discovered these apps recently. Once I tried them, I knew I had to make a video for you. So let me show you four Canva apps you will use daily when designing in Canva. Let's jump right in. All right, the first app is going to allow us to add textures to our designs. Let's say I'm working on a save the date invitation for a wedding designed to look like a newspaper page. I've got a photo of the couple and I want to blend it nicely into the old school printed paper look. To do that, I will go to apps on the left panel. I will search for texture and I will click on this app. I will first need to select an image to start applying textures. So I will click on the image right here and then I can search for a specific texture if I know what I need or I can browse through these options here. So I know I want a paper texture, so let's click on see all to see all the different options. Now I just need to choose the one texture I will want and let's go with this one. All right, I will click on it. Then I will see a preview of this texture on my image and I can change to different blend mode if I want different one or I can play with these settings to adjust how this texture will look on my image. So I can scale it and I can rotate the texture or I can play with the opacity of it like this. When I'm ready, I will click save and this photo will be updated with the texture and also will be uploaded to the uploads tab. So if I will need it in other design or I will want to use it in other way, I will have it in my uploads tab. So to use this app, you need to click on an image. So if the background of your design is an image, you can click on it and also apply a texture to the background. But if you want to apply a texture on top of all of your design, all of the things that are here, you will need to download this design and re-upload it to Canva as an image and then apply a texture to it. Or if you want a quicker way, you can also search for design to image and choose this app and you will be able to convert this page to an image that you will be able to add texture to. All right, now let's move on to the next app. All right, the next app is going to allow us to recolor images using a color palette. So you can easily match images to your brand. To show you how to do that, I've added few emojis to this design and let's try to change their colors to match my brand colors. All right, so to do that, I will go again to the left panel, click on apps and then search for image recolor. Then I will choose this app. All right, the first thing I will need to do is choose one of these emojis. Let's choose this present emoji and then I will see a preview of it right here. All right. Now let's add the colors to this color palette. I will click here. I will choose this color. Then I will click on the plus sign and choose another color. You can choose more than two color, obviously, but let's try with only these two colors. It says that for best results, arrange your colors from lightest to darkest. So I think I'm good here. I can tick this checkbox if my image is with flat colors like graphics or vectors. This is a graphic because it's an emoji. So I will tick this checkbox. But if you try to change an image and not a graphic, don't tick this checkbox. You can, you can try obviously, but you're supposed to tick that if you want to change a graphic. So let's try to recolor this image. All right, that's pretty cute. Okay, so now I can just click on replace selection and then I will have this emoji with my brand's colors, which is so, so cool. I love it. And now I can 
try to change the rest of the emojis. Let's just quickly try another one, maybe this one. I will see it right here. I will see the same colors I've added and let's recolor image. All right, okay, I love it. It looks very, very good. All right, so you can go and try change the colors of your images or icons or even emojis, match them to your brand's colors. All right, let's move on to the next app. Just before we move on, I wanted to give you a chance to be one of the 25 people joining my Canva 7-day challenge. In this challenge, you will learn how to level up your social media with Canva. It's hands-on, super practical, and guaranteed to improve your Canva skills. But it's not about the basics, it's made for people who already use Canva. We start on September 20 and there are very limited spots. All you need to do is to click on the first link in this video's description and sign up. Now, let's get back to the video. The next app is going to allow us to create gradients in seconds. This app lets you choose a color palette and instantly turn it into beautiful mesh gradients with just one click. I use it all the time for my YouTube thumbnails, so let me show you how to work with it. So again, on the left panel, on the Apps tab, I will search for Mesh Gradient and I will choose this app. Now I will need to choose if I want to create a gradient with curves or circular. So I personally use the curves only because I think it's much, much better than the circular. So let me show you how I create one. So you will need to choose your color palettes and unfortunately, there is no color picker or an option to choose from your brand kit. So I prepared these hex codes right here to just copy and paste to the colors right here. So let me just change the colors very quickly to my colors. You can choose to leave black or white if you need to in your gradient, but I won't do that in this example. Just paste the last color. All right. Now I will need to click on randomize position until I will love the gradient. I will just click like this multiple times until I will love the result. Okay, that looks pretty nice. So if I want, I can add it to my design. So just so you know, it will be at the size of your design canvas. So if for an instant, I will add this to a presentation design, for example, I will have this gradient at the exact size of the presentation page. So it fits itself to the design width and height. So don't worry about that. If you work on something else and you want to add a background, you will have a background that fit the design you work on. So this time, this is an Instagram post size. So this is the background for this size of canvas. So the only thing left is to right click on this image and click on replace background and make this as your design's background. And it really elevates your design. It looks really, really cool. All right. Let's move on to the last app for this video. The next app is going to allow us to add customizable effects to your images. Let me show you what I mean by that. So again, on the left panel, go to apps and search for frame blur. Choose this app. And the first thing you will need to do is upload an image or select one from your design. So I have this image right here, so I will just click on it and then click on edit image. All right, now I need to choose how I want to apply the effects. So I can apply it by brush, by shape or by text. I will start with brush because I think that's the most intuitive and easy to understand. And then after you will know all the features and settings here, you will know how to work with shape and text as well. All right, so I need to select an area to edit. And if I hover the image, I will see this purple circle around my cursor. 
and this is the brush. I can control the brush size if I want it smaller or bigger and I can choose the brush fade if it will be with less opacity or more solid. So let me just put it around here and I will decrease the size a little bit. All right, then I can just draw the areas I want to apply the effects to. So let me just draw around this woman dress. So just like that. I will put a little bit on the middle too. All right, now I can edit the blur mask if I want. If I want to change its size, I can click on it and play with the size. But I'm happy with this size, so I will just leave it like this. Now I will just go back for a second and you will see that after I've created the mask, I can choose which effect I want to apply to this mask. So I can choose this bluish effect, I can apply colors and motion effect, zoom effect, pixels and glass. Let's start with this blur effect. I can choose the intensity of the effect. And I can see more settings other than the intensity. I will see the intensity here again, but I can also control the transparency of the image. If I click on it, I will only see the mask I've created. And I can also choose to invert it. And then I will have the effect around the mask and not in the mask itself. All right. And let me show you how it will look with color. I can change the color to whatever I want. Let's go with this red just to emphasize the dress. And I can control the color transparency if I want it to be stronger or more transparent. Again, I have the more settings. It's pretty similar to the other effect we already saw. So I can control the transparency, the color also from here and choose that the image will be transparent or to invert the effect. All right, so it basically works the same if you use shape, you can just draw a shape and then apply this effect to the shape instead of drawing the mask as I did just earlier. And another thing I want to show you is the option to blur faces. If you want to blur something in your design. So you can use this pixelate effect, which can be very, very useful. So just so you know, it exists here. Let me just remove this mask and let's start over. I will go to brush. I will click on clear to clear the mask I've created. And let's try the glass effect this time. So let me just increase the brush size and I will just paint over these curtains like this. And I can choose the intensity of this effect and look how cool it is. You can really transform the image with this app. All right. So last one is text. So you can add text to this image and apply the effects on the text or to choose to invert it and apply the effects on all the rest of the image and leave the text as it is so it will be emphasized. All right, so let's say I'm ready and I want to leave this brush effect, the glass effect with the brush. I can check this checkbox to save as copy and not replace the image in my design. Just add another one with the effect or just click save to replace the current image with the image you've done changes to. All right, so that's it. That's Frame Blur. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you will use these apps on a daily basis and create better designs with these apps. Thank you so much for watching again. I will love if you can like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.